Hey! Long time no see. I know it's been a while since we made a video, but it is a Saturday, so this is going to be an at-home Saturday. It's very, very cold outside. I'm using the new camcorder that Tara got me, and today we were inspired by some of our favorite YouTubers, the Tim Tracker, and I will leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description, and I'm wearing their shirt. I'll also put their merch website. We watched a previous video of them where they made homemade bread, inspired from the Disney Mickey pretzels at Magic Kingdom. We're gonna base making bread today from that. We're gonna put our own spin on it. Gonna add some basil, some rosemary, some garlic to it. But we're gonna go, we're gonna make bread, and yeah. So we have chopped up basil and rosemary right here right now. So we're gonna throw that in. And then this mixture in here is just yeast, warm water, sugar, salt, oil, canola oil, and garlic. And garlic. We have our supervisor. Right, 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 okay. Just mixing up, it's really thick. Was it thick in Tim's video? I think it was. I mean, it's supposed to be a dough, <laughs> so you can roll out. And I wanted to let you know that I heard you doing your... Little your, intro. Yeah, and we, we watched them actually do make bread, or types of bread, twice. Oh yeah, because they made the chur... No, no, they made the Ohana bread. Oh yeah, listen, the, the Tim Tracker. Amazing. Anything Disney, anything Florida related, we love them. Because Tara and I want to move to Florida one day and hopefully meet them. But um, but no, they, they're just uh, such a huge inspiration and uh, relationship goals. So, yeah. <laughs> Notice us, senpai. Notice us, senpai. <laughs> look, look at this. Look how elastic it is. This is going to be some good bread. It's going to be some good... It smells really good. Alright, so we moved into the dining room and we have our little dough creation here and it smells really good. Also, Tara had a good idea. I'm going to link the recipe that we're following uh, in the description as well. This recipe is for two loaves of bread, um, so we cut everything in half. So he is going to knead this on this on some flour. for 8 to 10 minutes it said, so. Alright, so yeah. Hey, what are you doing? I'm needing some bread over here, okay? Take it away from the true star. Oh. Hi. <laughs> like and subscribe, please. Please. Just want to make a quick thing while I keep needing this. A lot of people were mad at me because of my British accent in the, uh, the British candy video, which has over like 750 views. So thank you, um, and there's a lot of comments on it. But I'm sorry if I offended anybody. And as far as the Jaffa Cakes being like cookies, we didn't say they were cookies. We said they were like cookies. So sorry if that sparked any drama. Um, but we are aware they are cakes. They are cakes. and they It's are just not delicious. something that Americans are used to, seeing cakes that look like that. Yeah. So, you know, apologies if we, again, if we offended anybody. But um, yeah. they were delicious. He didn't mean to make fun of your accent. I'm not going to say I did because I didn't Cause here's my do an point. accent. I am a total wreck, okay? Governor. Okay. Oh, I'm, listen, I was just making a point. I'm a wreck. I don't mean anything by it. didn't know there was different kinds of Jaffa cakes. Because in the comments, I seen there was like different like brands of them and stuff. Which, if if you know about British Jaffa cakes, you're probably just like you're an idiot. There's multiple brands. I'm sorry, the ones we got were amazing. So someone explain Jaffa cakes to us. Are they like? Um, are there different fillings? Yeah, like are are they like like little cakes that you can get different fillings from different companies? Like what are they in like from from America? Like what can we compare them to? Because yeah. We don't know. We've never been to England, yeah. and we don't know how to compare them. Yeah, so, so so didn't mean anything by it, but I think this bread's good to go. All right, let's go. All right. So the next step was to grease up a bowl and then cover the dough creation that we have here 
in olive oil. Now we have to sit it in here and we're currently in the bathroom because that's the warmest place in our house right now. We were told to put it in a warm room so this is what it looks like and then we're just supposed to cover it I guess that's fine. We're gonna let this sit for about an hour and a half so the goal is for that dough ball to double in its size and then we're gonna take it from there. All right so it's been about a little over an hour so we're gonna go check on the bread now that's in the bathroom and we're gonna see if it's doubled in size. It smells good in here. So let's see. I mean, see, I don't know. I forget like how small it was when I put it in there. It feels good. Um, might let it sit for maybe another 20 minutes just to make 100% sure, because after this we have to pull it out and then we have to pound it. So we're gonna see what happens here in about another 20 minutes. So stay tuned. All right, so it's been another 20 minutes. Let's check on the bread. Oh yeah, that looks great. And now we have to flour it up, fold it over a few times on a floured surface. And then these are going to be the baking dishes for the bread. Well, they told us to, to cut it in half and I know that we cut it in half anyway. So even, even though the recipe was for two loaves and we tried to cut everything in half, this is still gonna be two loaves, just smaller. Also, if you notice my pajamas, killing it. I don't know if you can see them. They're a little... There you go. Little, little oh, and I see Orlando, too. Oh, <laughs> yep. Props to Tara. She's had to remind me a couple times of what to do because I'm very hard-headed. I'm very forgetful. Um, but after we do this, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to split this in half, make it into a loaf, mm -hmm. put it in the dishes. That Tara's already greased up. Yep. And okay. then we are going to cover it. Yes. Um, for another 30 to 45 minutes and let it rise a little more yeah. and then we're gonna bake it. This is so fun to do. Like if this turns out great, I wouldn't mind just making our own bread. And fairly cheap to make as well because, oh, yeah. I mean, we have so much flour because I really like to bake cupcakes. We always have sugar. It needed salt, canola oil. These are things that we just always have in the house. The only thing that we had to buy was yeast. That just goes to show you. And just one last thing before I make this into loaves, we're not professional bread makers. So, if somebody watches this and is just like, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong, let's... This is our first time making first time. bread ever. So, this is the elasticity we got, which is, I think, pretty good. So, yeah, I think so. So, go ahead and... this in half. Yep. <laughs> Maybe for this one, make it into a, like, a circle loaf. I love how much basil and rosemary we put in it can see it just then, throughout like right there I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but there's bits of garlic in there too mm -hmm. so should be amazing I think that before we put it in the oven we should um, like glaze the top with like some olive oil and put like some maybe salt and pepper on top yeah all right, all right. so so we're gonna cover these put them back in the bathroom yep. and uh, let them rise for another 30 to 45 minutes yep. and then we'll bake them yeah all right all right, so we let the bread sit for about another 30 minutes. So they've risen a little bit. So they are ready to go in the oven at 375, between 30 and 35 minutes. She's gonna baste them with some olive oil and brush them just so they get a nice brown crisp on top. And also we were inspired by the Food Network, a contestant on Food Network Star. Uh, just a very simple pasta we're gonna have with it tonight. We're blistering some tomatoes in a pan right now with salt and pepper, already pre-chopped garlic to it. And then we're just going to throw in some linguine noodles and fresh herbs. The rosemary and basil that we also put in the bread is also going to go in the pasta sauce. So it should be a very, very good dinner. All right, so this is our final bread result. It looks really good. It's really crispy on top. And in the steps, it said that if it sounds hollow, it should be good to go. And it also said that we needed a cooling rack. So we don't really have a cooling rack. So we did have this kind of makeshift a little shelf for all of our wine glasses. So gonna move the bread onto there. When these are done, we're gonna go eat a delicious dinner. So I wanted to show you guys a better video of how the bread actually turned out. I will be posting pictures on my Facebook page and our Instagram of the bread as well as the pasta, which turned out amazing. It's just blistered tomatoes, basil, rosemary, garlic, oil, and then just uh, linguine noodles. So. Like I said, I will put the recipe for the bread that we followed, and then I just told you everything that was in that, so if you ever just want to make this on your own and you have free time, definitely do it. Leave it in the comments below if you make it. Leave it in the comments below if you make it, and tell us what you thought. So, gonna cut this bad boy open, and we're gonna taste everything. Alright, so, 
that's the end result of it. And the outside is just like we wanted, very crispy, very firm. And the inside's kind of spongy. If anything, when I was cutting it up, it is kind of crumbly. Okay, it is very good. The feel of it on the outside isn't as crispy or crunchy as I was hoping it would be. Personally, I think it tastes more almost like a biscuit instead of actually like a loaf of bread because it is kind of doughy in the middle. Maybe it just needed to be baked longer. Maybe. Tara made an amazing point. These were just common ingredients we had in our house. Yeah, we had to go out and get the fresh herbs and the garlic and the yeast, but overall, it's so inexpensive to make, especially if you just make plain bread. So not only was this something so easy to do, but it's a it's a true eye opener. Like we can do this more now. I also think it's vegan. Um, yeah. Unless there's, I don't think there's anything in active yeast <laughs> that's not vegan. But correct us if we're wrong. It's just flour and yeah. sugar and salt. And we put in the herbs ourselves. And yeah. other than that, it's just yeast and hot water and oil. So It feels like such a big accomplishment for something so simple. So definitely do it. I'm going to go throw in that other loaf to see if that makes any difference. So we're back in the bathroom because it has the best lighting in the house. Um, just wanted to give you my full take on how dinner went. I know we didn't show or... Uh, show you guys how the pasta turned out. Pasta was good. A little plain, delicious rosemary flavor because we put so many sprigs of rosemary in there. A bunch of basil on top, a little bit of the, uh, I think it was Parmesan. Um, very good. Very healthy. It was a very simple, delicious pasta that anyone can make. The bread, the bread with the peppers especially. It was dynamite. It was, it was that good. The aftermath of the bread making. Very inexpensive to make, but comes with the price of a lot of dishes. But we have leftover bread. All right, we're just about to watch The Incredibles 2, and we're gonna see how that goes, so hopefully it should be good. Okay. Intermission snack. Hey, it's Tara. Hey. Hey. It was a nice Saturday. It was a great Saturday. But we just got done watching The Incredibles 2. What did you think? I loved it. Good. I thought it was great. I was so good. I actually really liked it even better than the first one, I think. Tara pointed out to me, there's a Pixar Easter egg at the very end. So if you know a lot about Pixar, look out for that. I think this is just the day that both of us needed between making an amazing dinner, that homemade bread, which turned out fantastic, and just spending the day together. So hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you have like any other things you want us to make. Um, other than that, on behalf of myself, me, Tara, <laughs> Donnie, Jasmine, Murray, Speedy, and Orlando. We hope you all have a great rest of your night. Thanks for watching.